What's going on, guys? I am in the truck. So, the work vehicle. When I beat up, sort of. I actually kind of baby it. Anyway, uh, this is a box from FedEx. I tried to drop for a few days, but they're morons, and they don't listen when I called them two days in a row and said, I will not be home during business hours. Stop trying to drop it off. They don't care. Anyway, got my knife. I'm pretty sure this is my Beckett return. So, as you guys have seen, I've only done two of these in the past. This will be my third one. When I give cards to Beckett, I have only gotten two nines and one eight five in like ten years. Everything else has been gem mint or pristine. So, I always get nearly perfect grades because I grade them on my own at home and apparently I look at the same stuff they do. So. I rarely ever get back a bad grade, and I'm calling a mint nine a bad grade, depending on the card, obviously. I don't do vintage, but still. So these aren't uh, crazy cards. It's a weird mix, too. The little, uh, what do you call it, the little plaque on the top. It's crooked. You'll see that. Anyway, these are just random cards that I have that I figured, hey, these are gem mint. I know they're gem mint, so I'm just going to submit them, pay, you know, $12 a piece plus freight shipping, and, uh sell them for more I guess so anyway start right from the beginning so it stacks right here and it's right below the camera I'm setting them in the middle of the console here Jonathan Shoop the platinum ruby red at a 25 got a 9.5 on it 9.5 is all around except for surface which got a 9 makes sense this card slide together but still 9 not too shabby at all let's put these away later I got a Dylan Bundy Tops Tribute. Same deal. Three nine fives and a nine. This is the gold rookie card, Dylan Bundy. Gold refractor. Nine five. You can see that little plaque at the top it is crooked, so not cool, man. But uh doesn't affect it really. Again, that's out of twenty five, just like to shoot. Then I have this. <clears throat> I actually tried to trade this and sell it for less than eBay and nobody jumped on it, so I said, well, I know it's a gem man anyway, so I'll send it in. Same deal, three nine fives and a nine, plus the autograph got a 10, so that's good. Blue Refractor Rookie Card of Will Myers. The Bowman Chrome. Since I'm in a truck and his little odd reflections. Shows the card well enough, though. There we go. So, Purdy, and that's out of 99, actually. So blue out of 99. <clears throat> then Nick Castellanos. Three nine fives and a nine. <clears throat> Got a little pattern going here. Bowman Chrome Prospect Auto. <clears throat> Excuse me. I pulled that in a case that I broke. Had it on a trade block for a while. Nobody snagged it, so just got it graded. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> Great news at home. Brad Peacock, who is now with the Astros. I think he got injured. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, he came to Houston from the Athletics, where he was a rookie. Three nine fives and a nine, and a Beckett ten on the autograph. Same deal. So I believe that's just his common card from that. His rookie card. It's got the little rookie card logo and stuff. But pulled that as well. I did a bunch of these boxes and. This one happened to be Jam Mint, so submitted it. Not bad. I got one card left. That was it. So looks like I got nine fives on every card I sent in, and a ten on the ones that had auto. So <clears throat> I'm not surprised, but I am uh, happy with it. You know, Matt Moore rookie card, tops finest. I don't remember if I bought this card or pulled it. I may have pulled it as well. I'm not sure. I don't remember pulling this one. But I'm sure there's a video somewhere on here on YouTube where I pulled it. Top's Finest out of 199. That's a more short print version. That is the green or the emerald version. Whereas the Peacock was uh, just the normal refractor. The base level. And this was 